Hey, what's up? So, don't mind the wet hair, but I just got out of the shower, and um, I realized that I needed to do a little bit of explaining and a little bit of uh, giving you a little bit more information. How many times did I just say a little bit? Um, I have a list, but it's totally out of order, so this is going to be so jumbled. Um, okay, first off, my top ten list is um, finished. I want to thank everybody who gave their votes. There was 55 videos that got nominated for the, <laughs> the top 10 list. I didn't think that everybody had that many favorites, but um, it's pretty cool. So thank you, and I hope that it's to your liking. Um, it's on my video log, and I have a description of it for it in my profile. Okay, let's see. Next one, YouTube update. Yeah, it messed up my friends list, so I guess later on today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through my friends list, and I'm going to subscribe to everybody that I watch, and I guess I'm just going to have to do it the way everybody else does it, um, because our friends list no longer tell us how many videos we have. Grr. But I don't mind, you know, I mean, I just, I, I wanted to use the system in the way that was easiest for me, and before that was easiest for me, and now it's not, so subscribing is going to be easy. So, if I haven't subscribed to you by, like, I don't know, Wednesday night or something, send me a letter and tell me I'm an idiot and I missed you, because I'm sure that somehow or another somebody's going to get skipped over. So, um, let's see... Oh, Eric Winter had a discussion before the YouTube update, and um, we were talking about, you know, being able to flag a video as spam, and I was like, I don't want to flag a video as spam, I want to flag a comment or a user as spam or a spammer. And now we have both of those options. You can mark a comment as spam, and um, you can actually, if you go to someone's profile, you can scroll all the way down and down in the center does it say mark as inappropriate I think it says mark as inappropriate so if there's a user that's inappropriate I'm not sure what happens when you click on that link and the other thing that I'm not sure about is okay say you know I have a video um, and it gets a spam comment and I mark it as spam and then obviously I blocked the user because I just, I think it's ridiculous people are advertising for surveys and shit. But anyway, excuse my language. Um, God, this is going to be forever. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I don't know what happens when you delete that comment if it's no longer flagged as spam or, or what. But maybe that's for the other users and not for your own video. Maybe on your own video you're just supposed to delete it. Oh, it's raining. Okay, so, yes. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> the abortion protester video has gotten a pretty huge response. I got some sunburn when I was out there. It was so weird. Like, right, just right here where the sun was beating down on me because I guess I was standing like that for, I don't know, probably about 25 minutes. Um, after I stopped the video, we did have a discussion about, you know, who we were just in general. I just didn't think that that necessarily needed to go on the, um, interview video. And in that time, he told me about, ooh, you know, there's this guy right across the street. He's the ringleader, quote-unquote, of the counter-protest, I guess. For several weeks in a row, it got really, really, really hairy down there. I don't remember this exactly, but, which is weird, but I guess a couple weeks in a row, this guy organized a bunch of friends to come down with white sheets and hold their white sheets in front of these signs. So I went over and talked to him and tried to get him to interview just because I thought it would be interesting for him to just get on camera and say, you know, what he's done. Um, I didn't really have any questions prepped for him or anything, but, yeah. So, um, he didn't want to be interviewed. Sorry, guys. Um, 
I don't know if that's all I wanted to talk about, but it's, that's all I wrote down. So, the next thing written down is, um, oh, the user Jolsa. He's, he's going away to Boston for a little while, which, you know, is sad. Maybe he'll be able to check in on us, but I don't think he's going to be able to post videos. Um, I have three things written down here. One is about the poem for the contest. Okay, I totally rocked the house, and he had this, like, gallon Ziploc bag that he dumps all the cigarette butts in, so I guess maybe his room doesn't smell like an ashtray or something. And he held up this, this thing and, you know, said, whoever gets, gets the closest gets the prize. And, well, of course, me and Alice Complex get it, right? I was, like, four under, she was four over. He counted us both as winners and wrote us this really cool poem. And it's on my favorites list, but I don't I don't remember what the picture looks like. I think he's wearing a green shirt. Either way, um, also Jolsa has a pair of uh, shoes that he found at a uh, hostel that he was staying at. My hat that I wore in all of my videos up to a point until it got too warm, um, I found that on a street corner. So cool, cool shoes. Uh, and if you haven't figured it out by now, Jill says, so System F is, um, he just constantly, you know, posts on people's blogs, always negative, don't take it personally. Um, I found a new hater called I Hate Video Blogs, and they told me I was a loser. So, I don't know if they're frequent, but, yeah. Um, mm. Okay, two more items left, I promise. Uh, the PETA KFC protest. I showed up, and I immediately asked to speak with the person in charge, because I figured that, you know, they would be the more educated person. They'd be the person that PETA sent out. And he was on the phone calling some uh, media outlets, and he told me to go and talk to these guys who were eating chicken. He said they might have some interesting things for you to say. Now, my first instinct was, how cool is this? I get to hear both sides of the argument, and I get to present both sides of the argument to you guys. Well, not that the other people really had much of an argument, but, um, because they weren't really countering what, what the P to KSC protest is all about. Wow, it's still raining. I'm getting rained on. Must turn off the fan. Um, so then I, I was wandering over, and this lady stopped me, and she started talking to me. And she basically she was the local, whereas the PETA rep was, um, you know, not from the area. And she basically asked me to not talk to these guys at all, and uh, to that it would be hurting their cause to give them any attention. And so I ended up talking to her for a little while, and. and I ended up warming up to her, and she did, you know, have some really good points. I do understand where she was coming from. Although, you know, in my videos, I'm trying to be as fair and impartial as possible and um, present sides that maybe you didn't think of and try and present, you know, people in their light, if that makes any sense at all. So... I ended up shooting the conversation between the guy and the, um, the Peter rep because I felt that that was the best way to, uh, capture that on film and yet not piss off this woman. Not that I really cared, but, um, and then by the time that, uh, I got a chance to speak with the guy, he was packing up and leaving. And I was very surprised because... You know, you call the media and they don't come right then, you know. Sometimes, I, I just, I was really surprised that they only do one hour protests from 2 to 3 p.m. It just doesn't seem like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong though. You know, I am, I, I've never done a PETA KFC protest before. The last thing that I want to say, I promise, is, okay, I, it was my little sister's birthday, plural, they're twins. And I made these, um, these purses, right? I don't see. This is probably the best way to do it. 
And I don't know which two to pick to send them. One of them you've seen. And they all have like the same straps, so I'll just pull out the straps one of them. Okay. So yeah, that's one with the pocket. They're all the same color scheme. That's the one that you've seen. And there's that one. So I don't know which one to send. <laughs> or which one to keep back. I'm stumped. Yeah, they're all gray backed. So they're fairly easy to do. Holy cow, I'm so sorry. I talked your ear off for like ten and a half minutes. I could probably talk for another ten and a half more. I feel like I haven't been posting videos, but I've been posting videos every day. Strange. Alright, well everyone have a great day.